Hello everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. Here one DC circuit is there. So it is having two sources are there. So one is DC current source and voltage source. Asking that how to find current and power absorbed by 8 ohm resistor by using source transformation technique. This is the problem. So first of all, what is source transformation technique? In the name itself, it defines that the source is transforming means from voltage to current source current to voltage source like that we are going to transform the circuit for the simplification so let's see here so whenever the voltage was in series with a resistor so then it can be replaced with a current source with the same resistance suppose here voltage V is there and resistance R is there so at the time we can replace this part with a same resistor used here but current is according to Ohm's law V equal to IR so I equal to V by R so then the current becomes V by R so in the same way if there is a voltage uh, if there is a current and resistance is in the parallel so if you want the voltage so then how can you do that suppose here current I is there and R is there so at that time keep the resistance R same as it is no change and the voltage becomes I into R this is the voltage so this is the process of converting some voltage to current current to voltage so like this we are going to solve the problem so in this given problem here I want current and power dissipated by A2 resistor so now by applying source transmission technique I will try to bring one single loop so let's see here here what we have three loops are there so instead of three loops I will try to bring one single loop so then you can easily find the current and power by A2 resistor. So let's see here how to do that. In the first step, I am going to convert this voltage source as current source. So remaining keep as it is, no change. Here the voltage was connected in series resistor. So apply this transmission technique. So remaining will be keep as it is. Then circuit become like this. So I keep current and 8 ohm resistor, 10 ohm resistor and 6 ohm resistor as it is. I do not change anything. Now I am going to change this voltage source into current source. So for that, so bring this 3 ohm resistor in parallel. So it becomes parallel. That is 3 ohms parallel with a current source. So here this is positive and negative is there. So the current action is towards positive. So like this. Now the current is according to Ohm's law, we know that V equal to IR, so I equal to V by R and here V is 15 volts, so 15 by and resistance is 3, so it becomes 3 1 3 5, so current is 5 amperes. Next what to do? So here 6 ohm resistor and 3 ohm resistors are in parallel to each other. Now replace with a single resistor, so the overall resistance for these two components which are in parallel that is 6 into 3 upon 6 plus 3 nothing but 18 by 9 nothing but 9192 so overall resistance is 2 ohms for 6 ohms and 3 ohms so I am going to replace with a single resistor here with 2 ohms now there is no simplification is possible here uh, in the next step this current source will be converted into voltage source so this current source will be connected to voltage source. So totally you have to be there. So this will be like this in this format. This is also will be in this format. We convert this into voltage source. This also will be converted to voltage source. So don't touch our target that is 8 ohms. Okay. Keep as it is like that. So 8 ohms. Keep as it is. Next. So current to voltage. At the time this system will become in series. So here also 2 ohms will come in series. Now this current will become voltage source upward direction. Now here also voltage source upward direction. So this is 8 ohms I did not touch it. Thus this 10 ohms will come here. 
and here these two ohms will come here according to this rule so next what is voltage here so i into r i r so 10 into 3 nothing but 30 so this is 30 volts and here 2 into 5 nothing but 10 volts this is the 10 volt source now finally we got a single loop now apply kvl in this loop we will get current i so let us assume there is a current i is passing here source voltage is 30 volts so i am taking the current direction like this so it becomes plus side so another so become so this is opposite direction thus we take as minus 10 so thus be equal to current i into the sum of all resistance resist values that is 10 plus 8 plus 2 so from this we get current i equal to 20 by 20 So current I equal to one ampere. So one ampere of current is passing through eight ohm resistor. So this is the required current which was passing through eight ohm resistor. Now asking that again, the power absorbed by eight ohm resistor. So we know that the power formula that is power equal to I square R, which was absorbed by resistance eight ohms. So that's equal to so current I is one ampere which passing through eight ohms. So one square. Into R is eight, so it becomes eight watts. So this is the power absorbed by eight ohms resistor, and this is the current passing through eight ohm resistor. And these are the required values for the given problem. And this is the process of simplification. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.